All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be comparing some budget taillights. These are just like the stocks, but they're tinted. Um, ordered these on Amazon, I think they were like 80 bucks. And honestly, for the money, pretty dang good quality. This one's dirty, it just came off the truck the other day. Winter's been brutal. Also, Ford, if you're listening, you need to put rear wheel liners in all of your trucks to quit flinging crap up inside of them. So that's, that's, I'll get off my soapbox. So anyways, these are pretty much identical, about the same weight. Um, again, this is going to be an OEM replica that is smoked a little bit. Now in the reverse bulbs or the reverse light spot, shout out to Lace Fit. They sent me these awesome LED lights. This is just gonna go in the reverse spot, so we'll compare those to what I have over here. So again, this is your budget option. There's other options out there. A lot of the aftermarket taillights for these trucks, they just look kind of cheesy to me. Um, sorry, my table garage is a mess here, guys. Got all my stuff inside because of winter. And right here, we have the Morimoto, I think they're the XBs. This is the smoked. Um, it's a little higher in light. This is about the nicest tail light you can get. Again, this is my opinion, but the weight of this thing, you can tell it's really good quality as a watch, knife, and pew pew collector. Um, more weight doesn't always mean more quality, but in this case, I think it does. This thing's stout. So the cool thing about these, if your truck has bliss, mine doesn't, you can mount your bliss module in here. And I think this is one of the first or only aftermarket tail lights that supports bliss. These will fit all 15 through 17 trucks, halogen and LED. This is just gonna be your replacement on the 18 to 20s, that's just halogen. So again, $600, $80. So a uh, little bit of a price difference there. So the other thing I'll show you about the Morimoto's, that's cool. This is a, again, it's a fully plug and play taillight. These are gonna, it's gonna come with these 15 to 17 halogen lights, or uh, harnesses, so you can put them in the 15 to 17s or the 18 to 20s. Again, that's just something kinda cool. So um, I'm sure it saves them too from having to make different housings and whatnot. So what we're gonna do, like I said, I'll go over these real quick. The stock ones are just like your stock light, or the smoke ones are just like your stock lights. So these three, those are gonna be your turn signal and brake lights, and then this clear, all the way around here that's going to be your running light so uh, these are dot i think they're sae dot stampings on them so there should be fully street legal even though they are smoked this is your reverse light and it's going to have your reflectors and stuff in it these depends on what state you live in probably not fully legal because they are smoked um here where i live they don't mess with stuff like that so i'm gonna pop this one on and then um we'll show the side by side i'm filming this in the dark that way you can really see how bright the running light is on the morimoto and stuff so again these are my two favorite options for these trucks um i just i, I ordered these and they came and i was like man i really like those but they're not super smoked. You can see they're almost like a cherry red, and hopefully that picks up on the video. Um, with my truck having the black appearance package, I've got the blacked out headlights, emblems, and wheels, and everything else. I wanted to go with the Morimoto just because I think it's a cooler look on the truck. So we'll go out to the truck, install this real quick, and then uh, we'll do some night shots, or morning shots, dark shots, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'm gonna turn on these bed lights. Sorry guys, I just can't see real well. So on these tail lights, um, they're super easy to install. Hopefully you can see here, I'll stand and make sure you can. It's just two eight millimeter bolts. And then there's a couple, there's a couple guide pins that you'll slide those into. And then there's one plug. So. I think the Bliss trucks are a little bit different. 
and uh, they've got a different plug-in, but that's all included on the Morimoto taillight. So I'll go ahead and slap these bad boys in. The problem with doing this in the dark is it's hard to see all this stuff. But I wanted to show you guys how cool the Morimoto's look in the dark. I figured I'd get out here. I couldn't sleep. So there's two guide pins. There we go. On the factory harness, you can't plug them in the wrong way, so there you have it. I had my uh, Milwaukee electric ratchet out here when I took these off, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of loud. It's six in the morning. It's a Saturday morning. I don't really want to wake the neighbors up jacking the taillights. And I told you that these are cheap taillights, but I will say the fitment and finish on them for what you pay, it's actually pretty good. Not much different than the uh, OEM ones. Yeah, that's way too loud. It's like the sound reverberates through the aluminum truck or something, I don't know. Driver. And watch, see, my dumbass probably cross threaded these things. Now I'm going to be stuck with one of each. Alright guys, so let me uh, take the phone off the tripod and we'll get a close-up look and then we'll see how they look in the dark. Okay, so there's the smoked one. And it actually looks really good on there. Um, like I said, we'll get some day shots, but you can tell there's still some red, which is fine. On my silver truck, which I'll show you. I mean, I know you guys have seen it, but I've got the black lights, or the wheels. My truck has the blacked out OEM headlights. I'll do a video on those fog lights. Okay, so this side we've got aftermarket smoked. And there's the Morimoto. So, and these still have a touch of red in them with the reflectors, but they're mostly completely smoked monochromatic so let's see how they look when we light them up hopefully this shows up in this low light like I said we'll get some other shots too so you can see these freaking big time running lights or the uh, running lights on these and you can see on my sweatshirt you can see on the ground how bright they are and then the other ones are just kind of they look like a tinted taillight which they still look good, and I think they'll work, but let's compare the uh, output of the flashers. So that's still plenty of light. Like I said, it's super dark out here. I've got the flash on on my phone. And then you can see the brake light turn signal, how bright it is on the Morimoto. So we'll go get some uh, rolling shots, and then we'll wait for the sun to come up, and we'll compare them. And we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, so we got a little more light out here. And we might have just a little bit of wind noise. It's kind of breezy. The other thing, I've got to give Lace Fit a shout out. Like I said, they did sponsor some of these bulbs. So like I was saying, I've got the reverse lights in here. We'll see how bright those are. And then I did install their tag lights. I mean, you can see, holy crap, they're bright. The stock ones were just like two little candles. So 
Um, over here you'll see the, the more moto on the passenger side and the smoked one on the uh, driver's side. So I'll, I'll drive that way, show you what the reverse lights look like, the turn signals, and then obviously you see the running lights. And then, uh, like I said, we'll come back here in a bit once the sun's up and we'll get some day shots and we'll see how they look. guys so there's the night shots um, hopefully that that came out you can see how much more light here let me back this up so if you look over here on this right side you can see how much light those running lights throw on the ground from the Mori motos these are more like stock even though they're tinted they I don't think they're bad I think you could throw a set of LEDs in there and be pretty good so yeah, like I said, the, the Morimoto ones are almost too bright. Like, I got to squat down. I got my phone pointed weird. Um, they're almost too bright. I don't want to say they're too bright because you want your taillights to be bright. You want people to see you. But when you hit unlock and those running lights turn on, holy crap, they light up the whole area around the truck, which is kind of nice. So there you go. Budget, bougie, real expensive. It's up to you which ones you like. Obviously, I'm going to stick with the Morimotos. I love them. I will have the other ones for sale. Contact me if you're interested in buying them. Um, I'll sell them for what I paid for them, plus the LEDs. So, um, like I said, we'll wait for the sun to come up. We'll show you some day shots, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, it's light out now. We'll wrap this up. Kind of gloomy out, but still. So, there's those. They actually look really good on the truck. I'm surprised at how good they look. Honestly, had I seen those before I ordered the Morimoto's on here, um, might have stuck with those, just from a price perspective. But I do love the looks of these. I mean, they're freaking awesome. They look so good, nice and bright. I changed my mind, I, I still would've bought those. So there's your uh, budget versus bougie shootout hopefully that helps you guys uh make a decision on tail lights have a good rest of the weekend please like subscribe and uh, comment if you want to see anything else and like i said i'm gonna have the uh the smoked oem style ones for sale so hit me up if you want to buy them we'll work out a deal have a great rest of the weekend guys